Hello everyone. I hope you all are doing great. Welcome back to our channel Agla Same Schools. Today in this video I will be covering chapter 4 of class 9th of English that is in the kingdom of fools. So in this story there was a king of fools. In this kingdom both the king and the minister were idiots. They reversed everything and denied justice to their people they changed day into night and night into day they ordered their people to sleep during the day and work only after dark everyone who disobeyed this order would be put to death the people did accordingly So let's begin with the very first question that is think about it on page number 27. So question number 1 says what are the two strange things the guru and his disciple find in the kingdom of fools? So the answer is the guru and the disciple found that in the kingdom of fools people used to work during nights and sleep during days. Everything was cheap and cost the same. For the question number 2 says why does the disciple decide to stay in the kingdom of fools is it a good idea so the answer is everything was cheap in the kingdom of fools the disciple had a peculiar diet he was tempted by the cheap food so he decided to stay in that kingdom it was not a good idea to stay there for a long time as one could be in danger any time because of the unpredictable behavior of fools for the moving to question number 3 which says name all the people who are tired in the king's court and give the reason for their trial so the answer is the owner of the house that is the merchant the bricklayer the dancing girl and the goldsmith were tired in the king's court they all were tired because the thief died when the wall of the merchant's house had collapsed the merchant was tired for building a weak wall the bricklayer was tired for doing his work carelessly the dancing girl was tired for distributing the concentration of the bricklayer the goldsmith was blamed for making the dancing girl wake up and down to his house a dozen times for the moving to a question number 4 which says who is the real culprit according to the king why does he escape punishment so the answer is the merchant's dead father was held responsible for making the wall weak but according to the king the rich merchant was the real culprit because he had inherited both sign and riches of his father he escaped the punishment because he was too thin to fit the stake for the question number 5 says what are the guru's words of wisdom when does the disciple remember them so the answer is the guru was full of wisdom and knew well that unpredictable behavior of the fools could create danger any time The guru's words were they are all fools they won't last very long and you can't tell what they will do to you next the disciple remembered them when he was arrested by the men of the king to execute merely because he fitted the stake it was because of the guru's words of wisdom that the execution was postponed for the question number 6 says How does the guru manage to save his disciple's life? So the answer is the guru arrived on time to save his disciple and created a drama. He told the king that it was not an ordinary stake and whoever went to the stake first would become the king in the next life. The second to die would become his minister. The king wanted to avail himself of the opportunity. the guru and his disciple were released thus the guru managed to save his disciple's life so guys i have covered all the question of this chapter in this video 
I hope you like this video and if you have any query or any doubt related to any of the question discussed, please put your query in the comment section below. For more such NCRT solutions, keep watching and do not forget to subscribe our channel Agla Same Schools. And do not forget to wear a mask and take good care of your health.